What's up, good folks? Your boy Willie Lee have Matty, first of his name, GodColor.com, by the way. Check this out, though. Let's talk about um, being the color retarded. So imagine that this color right here was called the color retarded. We would say this is a retarded backdrop. I'm a retarded man. I love the retarded woman. We will not turn our back on retarded children. And if someone pointed out to us, well, in the dictionary, it says that retarded means mentally incapable. Like a person can be functionally retarded. That's a definition of retarded. We say no, retarded means this color. Retarded describes a group of people of African or Aboriginal descent. I'm retarded and proud. I practice retarded excellence. But we ignore definitions, right? Like we actually would be ignoring glaring definitions. Words are spells, that's why we spell words. And we will be retarded and proud, showing retarded love, but couldn't understand like, damn, why we keep doing retarded shit. And the same can be said about the word black. I wanna convince my people going forward that the word black is a cursed word. Like we went from Negro to black. Negro coming from necro. Necro meaning dead. We were considered a dead people. Now in your Bibles, it talks about the first man given the power and dominion to name other things. Well, who gave this blank man the power to name me black? I'm ab original. I'm abstracted from the original. I'm the color of God. This color is the color God. Who gave him the power to deem it black? Look up black in your dictionary, good folks. The word black means evil, wicked, dirty, ugly, filthy, demonic, and a group of people of African or Aboriginal descent. Like, we can ignore that. But we can't get past the fact that the word is a spell. We can't get past the fact that we are all reading out of the same books. And while we want to change the definition of the word, because we love the word black, when it has nothing to do with the color, like we can name that color from our own vantage. We can be this color. I love this color. I am this color. It's only the thing is, I call that color God. It's the God color, right? So if it's the God color, let's describe it. Let's talk about it from a scientific point of view. The color, how do you get that color, right? You get that color by combining all the colors. So it either is not a color, or if you take all the colors in the spectrum and put them together, you get this color. So that makes it the alpha and omega of color. Now, how else do you get this color? See, when we talk about light, it is the absence of light and the complete absorption of all light. So it either has no light or it contains all the light. That's the beginning and the end of your light spectrum. To whom else do we refer to as the alpha omega, the beginning and end? This color fits that description. This color is the color that serves as the backdrop of our universe. This color right here, this color is the color one sees in the darkness of meditation. This color is the color one sees in the womb. How can it not be the God color? How can it not be the God of all colors? And if we are to be that color, if we are to be a people that are that color, well, call us by our proper name. Willie Lee have man. GodColor.com. Make sure you're visiting GodColor.com. By the way, peace.